Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you something about resistance and the formula to measure it. Well, what is resistance? Let's just quickly say that if I have a power supply of some kind and I attach it to, for example, a heater, let's say this is a heater, then we know that the heater gets hot, the heater uses energy. And because it uses energy, we say it has resistance. If it has resistance, it uses energy. The power supply also has a little resistance, and therefore that gets hot and that wastes energy. But there is a simple law called Ohm's law, which enables us to calculate the resistance of a resistor, say a heater, and the value is given in ohms. Now the first thing is we have two quantities in the circuit which we have to measure. We have what we call the voltage, V, or the potential difference, more correctly, and we have the current, I. I is the current. We can measure both of these quantities with meters, and we know that the relationship between the resistance, the voltage and the current is given by Ohm's law, R equals V divided by I. For example, let's say that the voltage is 12 volts and the current is 3 amperes. Then we can simply substitute the resistance R is equal to V, 12 volts, divided by I, 3 amps, which as you can see, 12 divided by 3 is 4 ohms, and this is the omega, the Greek symbol, right? So 4 ohms. So this is briefly the law which tells us how to calculate resistance.